guys! Welcome to my second floss tube video. Stitching Farmer here, or you can call me Elena. I have a couple new things to show with, share with you today. I thought I would um, go through some of my whips and also got a finish. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm hoping you can hear me better. I'm trying to film on the iPad this time instead of my iPhone because I have a 6 plus iPhone so I guess it's getting up in age and I'm thinking maybe that's why you my voice wasn't coming through too well, plus I'm not a very loud talker either, so that might be part of the problem. So, I, um, I've been working on Renaissance Mermaid for the last couple months. <clears throat> I'll share that here with you. Alright, and here she is. So this is stitched on, here I saved the card here, 32 count linen, Gayleen. And it is Under the Sea Fabrics by Leslie. Alright, and she had so many beads. I think there was um, these turquoise ones here. There's three packs of those at the Mill Hill. And then the dark navy color, there's three packs of those also. I think she's probably... The most beaded mirabilia I've ever stitched. And this is Renaissance Mermaid. I don't know if I said that or not yet. But I think she's probably my favorite of the mermaids. Her face is very pretty. Got a headpiece and then her necklace there. Lots and lots of hair. I like stitching the mermaids because I feel like they're quicker than some of the other bigger pieces with the full dresses. She's very pretty. Lots and lots of beads. Her tail is very. Probably Beta there. Lots of Krennic too. There's a couple different. There's three colors of Krennic. The blue color one I almost ran out of. A couple of water lilies in there. The blue in the tail and also some green in the middle here. It's a water lily. Got a couple other things. I'm trying to figure out this iPad here, sorry. Got the. Okay, so I'm doing a stitch along by Lakeside Needleworks. It's these cute little houses here. One for each month, so I've done, managed to complete January, February, March, and we're in July now, so I've still got, I'm a little behind, but hopefully I'll catch up, but I haven't even completed all the border. I believe this is um, 32 count even weave. It's printed on there though, because you see the back side is just white, but that is from Lakeside Needlecrafts. I thought it was a... A cute little design with little houses. The first one here is, let's see, this is the cafe and then this one is the stitching shop. I believe this one is going to be the bookstore. So it's cute little things and then there'll be, three, each row will have three houses. So this is winter, the next is the spring, and summer, and then fall. And the border resembles that too, because this border is for the winter with the Christmas ornament and snow on there. You can see the snow there. I need to start working on that. And I tend to stitch on one piece at a time. I don't really like going back and forth, but now that I've finished my mermaid, hopefully i got so many projects that I want to work on, though. It's It's hard to find the time because I work full time and then I have two little boys. So that one was that one. Oh, and I wanted to share 
I went to the um, Mirabilia retreat in San Antonio this year back in May and I got Nora to sign my Renaissance mermaid that I was working on at the time. I thought that was pretty neat. <clears throat> Next I'll share my Chatelaine. I started the um, signed up for Mystery 20 before she passed away. So here is where I've gotten on it so far. Um, they ended up not doing it like they normally do where they release a piece each month. They just release the whole design right then. Because unfortunately she passed away in December but um, luckily she'd already designed the piece. She just hadn't written all the instructions in yet. But I've been following along with um, what they're putting on the internet and the Chatelaine support group to help the support group with, with that. So, let's see here. Try to get some close up. There's lots of gold. She uses lots of silks in her designs too. There's the M for Marie Antoinette. And then there's the symbol down here for Louis, King Louis. Lot, the little gardens. Here's the fan garden. I haven't done the beading yet. I do the beading at the end. I don't like to beat as I go because I just feel like they get crushed. So I'm going to save that for the end. That's the center piece. There'll be a big bead that goes in the middle there. And then the little gardens on the side. <laughs> I've taken like a two month hiatus from working on this piece so hopefully I will get back to it. It's a big one though. It's going to be huge. But it's a beautiful piece. So I'm going to try to get started back on there. Lots of neat little stitches, lots of roads, Jessica's. I think the M is really neat. Oh, here, there it is. I love the silk lame braid. There's a lot of it in this piece there. That color at the top is silk lame. Filled in most of that corner garden there. These will be. This one on the corner here, these will be water fountains here. And this will be, um, I believe it looks like uh, tulips or irises. will be purple flowers here. Those are the stems. Try to get close. It's rice stitches here. These always are a pain for me. Lots of little roads, eyelets. I haven't done all the outlining yet. I have to doing think something four times does get a little boring. So I had to take a little break, but I'll go back and forth, and I'll probably do um, when I go back to it. I'll probably finish the outlining in, in these because I just needed a break from the fan gardens because they there are a lot of work in in these four little gardens here. But it's, it's fun to do. I enjoy doing these. She puts, Martina put so much detail into her mandalas. It's like a little surprise that you didn't notice before you started stitching it. So, but as you can see, it's going to be quite large. Um, <clears throat> Versailles, the palace, is top part here will be the front side and then down here will be the back side, and then each side will have a gate there and there. I've got a, a big order from European Cross Stitch coming soon, so I will probably do another video and share that with you whenever it gets here. My husband heard that, and he wasn't supposed to know about that. But I'll do an opening video whenever that comes. And then this is what I started on last night. This is the Stony Creek Halloween one. 
that everything is backwards on here, but I haven't figured out how to make it reverse. So it's ingredients, and this will say horrific, I believe. This is 28 count even weave, and this is also, this is printed as other size white. This is my Omnic, Omnic frame best thing ever and I have the little tension clips on the side which I should probably take off when I'm not stitching. I ordered these from Heaven and Earth Designs. They're made for fabric so it doesn't make holes in them. So they're pretty neat that it um, keeps it very taut though by getting that side tension tight too. But it does, as you can see, stretch it out a bit if you leave them on there. I just started this last night, though. <clears throat> Thought I'd share some of the. This is. So, this is what the whole thing here will look like. So, they release a piece each month May, June, July, August. I'm sorry, there are things backwards. There's got to be a way to flip it, but I haven't figured that out yet. So this is the first part. And so these are free every month. You just pay for the shipping and handling and then the buttons. So you have to order those too if you want them. So this is the May and June. And I just ordered July's. So it should be coming in the mail soon. It says I am mute. This is the I've never done one of these before, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna how to go about finishing it. I thought that was super cute. The little ghost with the cauldron there. But hopefully I can figure out how to finish it. That way I can hang it during Halloween. It's got some specialty flosses. This is Weeks Dye Purple Majesty. It's got some glow in the dark DMC, so that'll be pretty cool. One of the mm. DMC that's variegated there. And then blackboard. These aren't silks, these are just dyed cotton floss. I wish it was silk, but just cotton. These beads are so adorable. Let's see here. There's the spider on the back side. You stitch on the legs first and then you put this over it. And there's the skull. And that was for the first month there. And then this one's for the eye of newt. See the little newts there? Those are really cute. Stony Creek, they have a lot of cute patterns. I have heard people complain about all the back stitching though. There is quite a bit of a back stitching on this piece. See all of that, it's back stitched. And that there. I think this will go fairly quickly and then I'll go back once I finish the three parts. I'll either go back to stitching on Versailles <laughs> or back to my little houses by the, the lakeside, this one again. They're cute. A lot of back stitching though. 
No, I'm not big fans of back stitching. Also, I want to start another memorabilia. I think next I'm going to do um, Seaside Kingdom. I bought it before the re releases, so I put money on it. I wish I would have known if they were going to be re released, but I bought it a week before they announced the re releases. So I've got um, most of those patterns now that I was able to get Lady of the Flag. I'll have to share that once um, that comes in, probably sometime soon. I haven't gotten it yet. And that's about all I have to share with you today. So thanks for tuning in and watching my videos.